When I say the title, Top 2 Programming Languages of 2019, without a doubt, I believe that most of you, even 80 to 90% of you, thought that we are talking about Python and JavaScript. And yes, you are absolutely correct. So why do we need a video for that when it's absolutely clear that Python and JavaScript is currently rocking the world? We need a video between the top two programming languages, Python and JavaScript, to understand that based on what is my goal, which language should I pick up? Of course, whenever you are, whatever you are choosing, up whether Python or JavaScript it's gonna be absolutely amazing and there is no wrong choice here but again based on your goals you can pick up a language which can suit you a little bit more surely both languages are capable in almost every aspect of the world right now but definitely there is always an upper hand with certain programming languages so in this video I'll be picking up a couple of goals that you might be having and based on that I'm gonna suggest you the programming language which as a beginner you should pick up I'm going to be selecting some of the goals like uh, mobile web development, mobile development, web development, machine learning, testing, and a couple of here there stuff which are pretty important for aspect. So without a further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, let's talk about number one, which is going to be web development. Now, this is, a, this is a fact here. A lot of people believe that web development demand is going a little bit low. It's nothing like that. Now, definitely things are changing from the traditional web development into modern web development, but there is no such thing as demand is lagging by. As long as internet is gonna stay, people are gonna be using websites and there is no, no uncertainty in that. Regardless of how much the mobile apps get popular, definitely everybody needs a website. You might see that Uber is an amazing app only thing, but still they do own their a website. And in fact, a lot of internal, their work is done on the browser itself. It's a surprise fact, but yes, it is there. Now among Python and JavaScript, both are definitely capable of handling anything that comes up on the web. Now, in this case, I'll give a little bit upper hand to the JavaScript and there is a strong reason for that. Now, surely we have a couple of frameworks, uh, some less popular, some more popular in Python like Flask, like Django that can handle pretty much anything on the web. But on the other side, I will give a little bit upper hand on the web to JavaScript because in order to create your front end of the website, you definitely need HTML, CSS, bit of pieces of bootstrap, maybe materialize and definitely for sure JavaScript. The reason for giving the upper hand to JavaScript because you'll be using up, using JavaScript uh, in the front end as well as in the back end. Now just alone the JavaScript is definitely not going to serve you totally on the web. We definitely need to uh, give some more stuff like definitely HTML, CSS. Maybe you want to have some additional stuff like Node.js, Mongo and stuff like that. Now surely all the things are capable in the world of Python as well. You can use Django. But here's my tip to all the beginners in the web development. Traditional web development is now moving out and the modern web development is coming in. What I mean by that? Now regardless of what kind of framework you are choosing up to work on or maybe any library you are choosing up for, whether that's uh, Angular, maybe Django, maybe Flask, maybe Node.js, one thing is for sure. You need to learn something which is component friendly. Now there are a variety of names of these components, but definitely we need to work on that. In the today's market, almost every company, startup, everybody is moving into component based thing. That means you have to get your hands dirty into something known as React, maybe Vue and dozens of other things which based on this component framework. So that's why my upper hand goes to JavaScript because it's already friendly and uh, a lot of people might be working into something like React and Vue and then switching into totally Python for the back end stuff is not so much comfortable. But again, both languages can handle both of them. So my upper hand in the web goes to JavaScript. Moving on to number two, which is mobile development. We all know what's coming up. A lot of people might be saying in the comment section that we have Kiwi and a couple of other frameworks which can build Android apps uh, using Python. But my dear friend, if you're gonna be choosing that path, that path is absolutely painful and is not at all much fruitful. A lot of people have given this try to these kinds of frameworks in Python and have come up with no good result. So that means I'm gonna say that if you want to walk into the path of mobile development, definitely go either from the core native world like through Java or Swift, but in case you want to try your hands with your web skills, definitely JavaScript is gonna be your choice. So for the mobile web, mobile development, I'm not gonna get any more into depth of that. Definitely there are tons of frameworks that can help you 
Flutter, React Native, and a couple of others as well. So my recommendation would be either to go with JavaScript. And once you are comfortable with JavaScript, other languages like Dart and all of them is going to be quite friendly to you. Your mind is set to move into Flutter or anything. So in this case also, my upper hand goes to JavaScript. Now moving into number three, and which is probably the most hottest one right now, which is machine learning. Now, most of us already know that JavaScript is taking its hand into machine learning as well, like TensorFlow.js, but I'm not going to give uh, any priority to JavaScript just because it's trying their hand into TensorFlow.js. Now, definitely, so far, I have seen a lot of programming language trying into machine learning, but until and unless anybody, any one of them, gives a little bit of competition to NumPy, there's going to be absolutely no competition. The libraries, especially the two I want to talk about, NumPy's and Panda. Now these two libraries are only available in Python. Now definitely there are a couple of other languages as well in which these libraries are available, but right now the most commonly used and the most popular one is through Python only. Now until unless we see these libraries moving into other programming languages, I don't think that there is any scope of any programming language in the near couple of months to get into the world of machine learning. So without a doubt, in case you want to get started with machine learning, Python is gonna be an absolute choice for you. Now definitely we do have other things like MLKit and a whole lot of things that Firebase offer which can be integrated uh, through uh, web, uh, JavaScript and a whole lot of other frameworks. But right now, if you want to go into core of machine learning, I think I, I'm gonna say just get started with Python and master first and foremost NumPy's and Panda. Rest all the other things, maybe you want to detect a face, maybe you want to detect a car or the car lanes, whatever you want to do, that comes up later on. First and foremost, my advice is pick up Python and just nail it down these two libraries, NumPy's and Panda. That should be your absolute plan for right now. So yeah, for all the things in machine learning, data science, data analytics, I'm gonna give an upper hand to Python and that's a no doubt. Now, one of the other aspects in which a lot of people want to move into is the testing. Testing is something which is quite popular in India and it has a ton of jobs. Now, a lot of people might want to get started with testing and obviously they see that JavaScript is there, Python is there, a couple of other languages are here. Now, in case your mind is saying that I want to move into testing, Although you definitely can get started with Python and among JavaScript and Python, I will give certainly an upper hand to Python, but I would say, hey, think about one more time. You probably don't want to pick up any of these two programming languages for testing just because of one reason, amazing community. Testing framework is moreover driven into Java world still, and I would highly recommend to move into Java if you only want to move into testing. Surely Python can handle Appium, Python can handle Selenium as well, but I would recommend personally to get into Java for that, a side tip. So now that you know that what programming language can suit you for which particular product, you are fully aware of which one to choose. So what is my advice? What would I recommend beginners to get started with? I would say just flip a coin and pick up any one of them and make your mind certainly according to that in a year or year and a half, I'll be moving into other side of the world. This is the most toughest decision that you're gonna be taking that first I work into Python for like, let's just say year or year and a half, and then I move into JavaScript world. The reason for saying that you should pick up both is because you'll be taking advantage of both the best of the world. Eventually, when you work with certain language, whether that's JavaScript or Python, eventually you develop some kind of a love or affection to that programming language. And moving away from that language is gonna be the toughest thing that you can ever do. But certainly, that's gonna be the best thing you can ever do. So my recommendation is just get started with any one of them, explore a couple of libraries, do with that, but don't stuck around with that. And if you are a beginner, probably in the first semester or second semester of your college, and you explore this guidance, like spending one year with one language and probably another year or year and a half with another language, you're gonna be absolutely beast and killing it in probably every interviews, every upcoming job opportunities, probably launching your own startup. This is like the best of the world you can do right now. So in case you want to explore more about machine learning, Django, JavaScript, Node, React, or anything else at all, I do have amazing courses at learncodeonline.in, and we have an amazing support team as well, dedicated team to answer all of your questions in all of these courses. So make sure you go ahead and at least check them out. Now before you move ahead, I would recommend you to do one very, very important thing for you, and that is to hit that subscribe button.
I hope you have enjoyed this video and in case you have enjoyed it, please do share it with your friends as well. I'm gonna surely catch you up. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button so that you can get notification for whatever the videos I upload and I upload a ton of videos on this channel. That's it for this one and let's catch up in the next one. Problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. A phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all on my line about nothing?